so when I made this video I was happy to think that this shape which I just happened to see and think oh yes that'll do was the 3D equivalent of this shape which inspired me to make this shape but in actual fact when I looked a bit closer being a lazy dyslexic I didn't bother to read anything there's a name here that I was able to use in the Wikipedia and I started looking at the shape and thinking yes yes 2D shapes 2D triangles and then went oh there's a 3D version so I suppose for the sake of completeness how to make a 3D version and I won't go into all the steps this time because uh, it actually turns out to be quite a bit easier to make than the cube and we've got a pyramid here so I create a pyramid and I'll go to the overhead view and slide the plane out of the way select that pyramid copy and paste and holding the shift key down shuffle it across then select both those copy and paste and holding the shift key down move those up then select one of the pyramids copy and paste and position that so it's going to be on the apex of the other two and that there I'll just move the camera around so we get a bit of a better view is the first element so if I select that and group it I just have to perform the same process that I have just done over again uh, however I want to it's, it's just produce those four then copy and paste and produce another one that fits on top and that gives me the next step which I can then group and continue with this process building the shape up and it's got all the voids and internal detail obviously the limitation with Bryce is the number of times you copy this and then it gets very slow alternatively while I was thinking about that I was thinking well hang on a minute that's triangles on the sides but is a square on the base what if it was all triangles all the way around well fortunately I had a look in the object library here and even amongst the additional primitives there isn't one of these shapes uh, the tetrahedron something like that. I'm not sure but I did know in spite of not really knowing the name of it that there's one in wings oh there it is a tetrahedron so this has an equilateral triangle on all three sides now if I select the entire shape and then select the lines and press C I can connect the centers of the lines together I can then use this if I select the center triangle of each face to create an element so it's going to save a bit of um, copying and pasting in Bryce essentially so I intrude this at zero so that's an intrusion at zero and and then these faces I just delete and that'll fill in the triangles and when I've first did this I thought this is great because then I can select the whole shape again copy again get these triangles and then intrude these inner triangles so I thought this was going to be a shortcut to creating the shape, entire shape in Wings 3D and not have to do all the copying and pasting however I was destined to be disappointed because if I can get them all selected correctly if I now intrude this a uh, weird geometry starts getting created in the middle it was only because the other one was central central so control Z so I'm back with the phases instead I'll just use hole it's not ideal because there's some hollows in it but by the time this is a very small element as before when we were cheating with using the mask then these details will probably be lost so I'll file and export that uh, 3ds and I'll call that uh, Tetra he I don't know wrong I don't know why I chose something so difficult to spell right and now I can import that into um, Bryce I'll get rid of that demonstration bit and file import object and uh, get me tetrahedron piece and that's what that looks like lower it to ground level and then copy and paste things get a little bit more tricky because of alignment issues so I copy and paste uh, I'm okay so far and then this last one here I'm gonna have to get position it so the corners are over the apexes and it's not very easy to achieve so I'll probably have to go in and adjust each one manually which will be time consuming and I must remember to lift it up so that it's at the apex so that then becomes the first element of this build and then I copy and paste that and again whoops and it's it's fiddly control V 
So again that has to be positioned so the corners are over the apexes and, and remember to lift it up and then group the lot together and that becomes the next element and so on. Now, while I was building these and I was looking at the wireframe view at these patterns uh, I started to notice some of the patterns were familiar with the patterns that I've seen in the deep texture editor so I thought what about pre-producing these patterns in the deep texture editor now I've not managed to do the cube uh, at least not yet I've got close but there's some alignment issues but this one this triangle one yes so if we go and we'll use a uh, diffuse and then we'll just get in the basic library here this basic triangle right now this is a peculiar texture because it doesn't this component doesn't have a 3d component equivalent it is just 2d but this scaling here the octaves and its standard mode is recombining and this pattern that I was seeing just here when it was recombining just uh, reminded me of the pattern that was seen if I scale it up with these faces so I thought ah well that's interesting so I'll just try and fit it in that face there to see what we're doing but it's it's not quite uh, usable yet so I'll, I'll leave it at that scale and switch to the alpha channel and then use quantization and then reset the quantize filter and you can't quite see it this so I'll scale it back in again we've got the triangles in there now the other thing is right I'll set that up at a, a known value that's that we can easily pick out so we'll choose 4000 there's the triangles that are set are they're, they're black and then there's grey and there's white and there's alpha so this could be used for either control and reflection or transparency or something like that and if I was to do that let's, let's choose reflection rather than use the colour and just set some value on reflection there and we'll use a uh, parametric mapping which will be appropriate for the infinite plane we can see that we've got the pan in some of these triangles and not in others so what I thought was it would be nice to get the pattern in the other triangles that are empty now going back into the deep texture editor I could do this by combining it with itself uh, either going to be minimum or maximum whichever way it turns out and rotating the pattern around 60 degrees so I'll rotate the pattern 60 degrees or alternatively you could reverse the scale of the pattern so that it was minus 4000 I don't know which version I like better I suppose each one's valid and then we'll do maximum or minimum whichever one shows the pattern up so it was minimum and that gives us the pattern repeating in a sort of hexagonal fashion which I thought was nice uh, to get it to show up more we're just using these quantization filters we'll put a final quantization filter for the alpha channel reset it and then it should be possible to tune it so it's giving full white and full black which will provide in this case full reflection or no reflection and uh, yeah, that gives the pattern a little bit stronger so it can be, it can be more visible so combining all these things together I'll produce a final render with the patterns and with the structures all together uh, which will take me a few minutes and probably quite a few minutes more to render it so I'll just pause the video there and we'll see what we end up with okay then here's a render with the all the things that I've made put together um, that's the Bryce pyramid and that there it's about the same size as the wings pyramid bear in mind these little triangles on the end are hollow but as I said at this scale you can't really see that and here's the pattern that I made I modified it slightly um, so that it would show up so if we go into the material lab it's using diffuse and no metallic it doesn't matter it's not making any difference and in this case what I did was I modified the quantize filter and provided color and white output just so that it uh, gave a different alpha output but that's just reversing the filter so if you if you know your way around the filters and if not you'll, there's uh, plenty of tutorials on that 
on BriceTutorials.com that I made relating to filtering in Brice. So these do kind of want to fit together these shapes. I'm tempted to try and fit some of these together if Bryce will let me. It's going to be a bit tricky aligning them. And another thing that uh, suggested itself was I could use this pattern and perhaps build up a triangle made of that pattern and spherical map the interior and use that on the outside of these pyramids to uh, give another illusion of detail as I did before with the cubes. And then I'd be able to use, say, that portion rather than the whole thing and that would save a bit of uh, struggling around with the copying and pasting in Bryce. Another thing I noticed that this triangle would fit nicely into these triangles there which would be another way to create a different pattern. So I'll go on to have an experiment with these, see what I can come up with. I hope you found that interesting and I'll have a go yourself.